Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to identify potential issues when importing Excel data, specifically the date field into a SharePoint list. So if you enjoy Power Apps, Power Automate, Power BI, SharePoint Teams videos, feel free to subscribe. So I'll be pulling out more videos in those areas. So, and let's get into the video. So I'll be showing potential issues you can encounter when importing an Excel sheet. So an Excel table into a SharePoint list. So here's my SharePoint list I'm working with. I'm storing the data inside my documents library. Uh, you need to store it within a SharePoint for the Power Automate flow. Let's go ahead and create a flow to import the Excel data. So I'll name this import Excel data. And the trigger is going to be manually triggering with a click. All right, so let's go ahead and grab the data. So I'm just gonna type Excel and it's gonna give us a few Excel actions. And the one I'm looking for is list rows present in a table. So for this to actually work, I need this uh, Excel sheet to be a table. So I'm just going to press Control A and then Control T to convert this to an Excel table. So now it's in a table and the table name is table one in the top left hand corner. So I have my thing on auto saving. So it's automatically going to save it in the SharePoint. If I go back to the documents folder, as you can see, it saved a few seconds ago. So let's go ahead and get the list rows present in a table. Uh, the SharePoint site is information technology. The document library I'm working with is documents, and then we're just going to search for the file, which is birthdaylist.xlsx. You can only use xlsx and xlb something, so just be aware of that. And the table is going to be table one, it's the only table in that list. The one issue you can run into is if you have over 200, it pulls 256 rows. So if you have more than that, you'll have to set a pagination threshold. So I'll just do a thousand here. Even though my row, my table only has like four rows of data. I create rows present in a table and then we're just gonna do create item. So we're gonna create a item in the SharePoint list for each of these. So information technology, list settings, we're going to do birthday list and the title. So that was going to be the first name. And since there is multiple rows in that Excel, so put it in an array and then it's going to do each row one by one. So that's why it's going to apply to each. The last name, birthday. So birthday is going to be the field that we're specifically working with because I want to show you some issues that you can run into when importing date fields. Let's just import this data. So if you look at the data right now, we just have the dates, you know, regular dates, no big deal. We can even set this to a uh, short date. So let's set the short date, it auto saves. So let's go ahead and save this flow and run it. But it's actually going to shoot out an error and I'll show you how to fix that. So manually test, continue, run flow, done. All right, so we get an error, check it out. So we get this error right here, error details and per parameter. So that's by column is required to be of type string date. The runtime value is 32893. So in my Excel list, it's a date field, but when it imports into SharePoint, it sends it as a serial number. And that serial number for the first column is 32893. So to fix this, you wanna go into your list rows present in a table, show advanced options. And you have a date time format right down below. So if I click on this and change it to ISO 8601, it will actually change the serial numbers into ISO, which is the format that we want. Let's go ahead and run this again manually. Okay, as you can see, it's running now. And do I have six rows? Yeah, I do have six rows. Okay, so the flow ran successfully and our data should be in here and it works great. So that's one issue you can encounter. The second issue will be if you have a 
let's say I have a blank row of data right here and I'll just auto save it. So you have a, you don't know when this guy's Nicholas's birthday is yet because he hasn't joined the company, let's say. So I just have a blank field right here. So let's try to import this and see what happens. So we're going to go ahead, click on test manually and run it. So we're just waiting on the apply for to each and it looks like uh, we get an error and the item birthday column should be required string date the runtime value so it puts like nothing there but it needs to be a null value so we're just going to fix that and the way to do that is you go to edit and on this field specifically we're going to go ahead and copy what's in it so we're just copying that dynamic content and you actually have to write a custom expression for that to where it checks if it's equal to nothing we want to put null in there instead of the string nothing so we're just going to write if and the expression so the expression we're using is equals uh parenthesis you want to paste the copy content and it adds curly brackets so just remove the curly brackets and the ampersand and the curly brackets and then we're just going to do comma a single quote so if it's equal to that we want to output null so comma after the parenthesis null and then it's going to return us to the previous if statement and now we want to if there's actually a value there for the birthday we want to output that value so you're just going to paste the copy content again remove the curly brackets and the ampersand and press ok so we have that in there let me just go ahead and click on it and i'll paste it let me open up notepad so this is what the the custom expression looks like so f equals the copy content without the curly brackets ampersand comma single quotes parenthesis comma null comma and then the copy content again without the curly brackets and the and sign so this should allow us to actually put a null value in there instead of the string nothing so we're just going to go ahead and put that expression in there press save and we're just going to test it again all right the flow ran successfully let's go ahead and check it and it looks like it ran twice so maybe i didn't delete the contents from before but if you look now we have nicholas with the empty birthday field and they all ran successfully so that's how you do it with a empty value in one of your rows so that those are the potential issues you can run into when importing a excel data field into a sharepoint list uh, these are only, I've done this many times and these are pretty much the only issues I've ever ran into. So I just want to put a video out there because you don't have to spend a lot of time trying to troubleshoot these. Uh, it should be really simple doing this and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you, have, if you like the video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe and I will catch you in the next video.